The oxalot, also known as the Mexican walking fish, is a neotenic salamander. Although the oxalot is known as the walking fish, it is not a fish but an amphibian. The species was originally found in several lakes, such as Lake Xochimilco, underlying Mexico City. Oxalots are usually among amphibians in that they reach adulthood without undergoing metamorphosis. Instead of developing lungs and taking to the land, adults remain aquatic and gild a sexual mature adult oxalot at the age of 18 to 24 months ranges in lengths from 15 to 45 centimeters although a size close to 23 centimeters is mostly common or greater than 30 centimeters is very rare their heads are wide and their eyes are lidless their limbs are underdeveloped and long thin digits males are identified with their swollen colliculine with papillae while females are noticeable for their wider body full of eggs three pairs of external gills originate behind their heads and are used to move oxygenated water the external gills are lined with filaments to increase the surface area for gas exchange four gill slits lined with gill rockers are hidden underneath the external gills Oxalots have barely visible teeth, which they would have developed during metamorphosis. The primary method of feeding by suction, during which their rackers interlock to close the gill slits. External gills are used for reparation, although gulping air from the surface may also be used to provide oxygen to their lungs. Oxalots have four pigmentation genes. When mutated, they create different color variations. The normal wild type animal is brown, tan with gold speckles, and an olive undertone. The four mutated colors is a pale pink with black eyes, albino, green with gold eyes, and gray with black eyes. Other variations are all black with gold speckles or olive tone. The oxalot is only native to Lake Solchomeco and Lake Charloco in the Valley of Mexico. Lake Charloco no longer exists. Lake Solchomeco remains a remnant of itself, existing mainly of canals. The water temperature of Solchomeco rarely rises above 20 degrees Celsius, although it may fall to 6 or 7 degrees Celsius and perhaps even lower. The wild population has been put under heavy pressure by the growth of Mexico City. The oxalot is currently on International Union for Conservation of Nature's annual red list of threatened species, non-native fish such as African chalapia and Asian carp have also recently been introduced into the waters. The new fish have been eating the oxalot's young as well as its primary source of food. The oxalot is a carnivore, consuming small prey such as worms, insects and small fish in the wild. Oxalots locate food by smell and will snap at any potential meal, sucking the food into their stomachs with their vacuum force. Thank you guys for watching, stay safe and I will see you on the next one.